Bramall Lane started life as a cricket ground, opening in 1855. It wasn't until 1862 that it had its first football match, Sheffield FC vs Hallam FC. It was home to Yorkshire Cricket Club from 1863 until 1888, but continued to host county games until 1973. In 1867, it was host to the oldest football tournament, the Uden Football Cup, won by Hallam FC. Also in 1867, it became the first home of the Wednesday Football Club, who would go on to become Sheffield Wednesday. In 1878, it held the world's first floodlit match. One of only two grounds, the other being the Oval in London, which has hosted an England cricket test match in 1902 versus Australia. England Football Internationals, five prior to 1930. An FA Cup final, the 1912 replay in which Barnsley beat West Bromwich Albion 1-0. In 1889, Sheffield United is formed and still calls Bramall Lane their home. At Bramall Lane, fog causes a spot of bother when the crowd decide they won't see the match at all if they don't stand on the touchline. But there isn't room for them all and the Sheffield police have to be as even-tempered as their steel to restore order. In 1936, the highest recorded attendance in history was 68,287 for the FA Cup fifth round tie versus Leeds United. It's not only sports that Bramall Lane has been the host of. In 1985, Billy Graham came for an evangelist meeting. In 1988, Bruce Springsteen plays two sellout nights at Bramall Lane. In 1988, Bruce Springsteen plays two sellout nights at Bramall Lane. It's Carl Bradshaw who's got the long throw. It's come off Blackboard, it's put in by Brian Dean. What a start for Sheffield United. Five minutes gone. Brian Dean makes history and scores the first ever Premiership goal in 1992. For more videos about Sheffield's history, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell button.